Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CLD. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like you this time, Frampton has a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. I did this analysis on Monday, so that is where the red and green line annotations are coming from. And after today's price movement, definitely some updates here need to be made. First update is based on just a foundational rule in charting, which states when levels of resistance are broken and closed above, you wanna see them act as support. So going into today, and this will mean a little bit more to those of you that watched the video on Monday, but I talked about 63 as a resistance, and now that the price is up above it, as the rule states, you would wanna see it act as support. And so far, so good. You can see that's essentially where the price kinda of went sideways the entire day, right around the 63 cent mark. So that's definitely gonna be the ideal level, meaning that would make the chart look the absolute best if the price can stay up above it. But don't get me wrong, it's not like if the price falls below 63, that implies the entire chart is destroyed or anything like that. As far as more of the over arching level of support is concerned. Keep an eye on that purple line right there, the 50 period moving average, keyword being moving. So as time goes by, that line is going to move itself higher and higher. So kind of a, a very straightforward way to judge the overall chart is just as long as the price is above that purple line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, full strength. How are you gonna best visualize that? You know, that is what's being represented. Once more, yes, preferably speaking, staying above 63 would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as it's above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. What about levels of resistance? As far as where the sellers are at, Main level right now seems to be right up there at about the 70 cent mark. I realize the price did technically go up a little bit above there, but I think the main point of price congestion seems to be more so at the 70 cent mark. So keep an eye on that going forward. But all in all, what matters the most in this chart is what the chart has already been doing. And that's all about this price movement right here. As long as the price keeps on building higher bases, or if you want to picture these as stair steps. So as long as these stair steps keep getting formed in the upwards direction, then everything else will take care of itself, including breaking levels of resistance. So focus on those healthy consolidations and higher lows, and then just sit back and let the trend do its thing. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.